Grant, Max Biamo signed up on a short-term deal. Why Max, first of all? He's a good experience. He's, he's, he's been with us now for over a week. Um, he's looked really good in training. He looks sharp. He looks strong. Um, he's physical. He can get a hold of the, of the ball for us and things like that. So I think he's a good foil for us. I think we can certainly help him um, get fitter. You know, he's, uh, he's not obviously 100% having not played for a while but uh, we've got good people here fitness coaches and physios who can uh, and obviously in the training methods that we use we think we can get them up to speed quite quickly um, and hopefully it has a real impact uh, you know for us for for the remainder of the season he's had a very frustrating time of it over the the last couple of years what what condition do, does he do we find him in at the minute in good condition um, he's in good condition we've had his body fats done to jump testing fitness testing um, sprint testing he's one of the quickest in the team he's I think he ran we clocked him at 9.8 which is quite really quick I don't think with anybody as quick as that apart from maybe Deji Satona who's out alone at, at Boston but um, so he, he's in good he's in good nick but it's obviously just the games it's the it's the fitness that you need from, from games and the sharpness from games that is, is going to be the next stage for him now so we'll build him up nicely and uh, work closely with him to try and get him as fit as possible He featured in that behind closed doors game at Tranmere how did he look in that one? Yeah good look, look fine um, we only played him for 60 minutes because it's uh, obviously his first game for a while um, but we've done quite a bit of 11 by 11 work on the training ground and um, and stuff like that so we've built them up that way as well um, we're pleased to have them on board you know I think it gives us another option in, in the forward areas obviously we've been really unfortunate with the injury to Connor Carter who we felt could have been a really good foil for um, for us in the attacking area um, but disappointed obviously the, the, the news that we got back from that injury at Bradford um, John Taylor's obviously been missing for a bit but we don't anticipate him being out too long um, and it also gives us an opportunity for, for the likes of Jack Goodman, Tavonga Kalea, two of our young attacking players who we think highly of to, to go out and get some games. So I think it's a win-win for everybody. How did it come about, the move? Um, it's, uh, well, I knew he was available, but, you know, um, we found out about it and, and, and we got him in. Uh, and, and he was pleased to come in. You know, he had, he had been training with one or two other clubs and just to keep his fitness up. So not only just this week that he's been training with us, he's had weeks before that of training with some clubs just to keep his fitness levels up. Um, so once we came in, obviously I knew Zane had known him. I spoke to Zane about him. Zane couldn't speak highly enough of him. Everyone who was spoken to at, in and around the Coventry at the time he was there speak really highly of him um, from his leadership skills in the, in the changing room, his personality um, and him as a football player, you know, he's, uh, he's different to what we've got in, in the attacking area and he'll certainly add a different dimension to us. Zane can almost offer a bit of a, a template for him to sign at a similar time last year on a, on a short term deal, then he sees that extended and has been a big part of it before his, his unfortunate injury. Yeah, absolutely and I, I, I mentioned that to, to Max as well, I think it's I think f f the most important thing really is, is us to try and help Max to get fit and for Max to try and help us and, and, and keep us in a good sort of vein of form. Um, so for both of us, it's, it's a good, it's a good uh, deal for, for everyone, I think, uh, con concerned. Um, his experience, his know-how, his level of understanding of, of the game, when to run, when to hold, the positions to pick up. Um, and, and also adding that experience, that know-how onto some of the younger players that we've got as well. So um, he, he's he's a proven player, Max. He's obviously just been unfortunate with some of the injuries that he's picked up. Uh, but that's over him now. Um, all he's looking forward to doing is having a decent run to the end of the season, um, get as many goals as he can, and uh, hopefully in the meantime we can get him as fit as possible. Nothing to lose and everything for get to game for for both parties. Yeah, right? absolutely, absolutely, and. Uh, you know, like first and foremost, we always like to bring good people to this football club and good character, and that was one of the first things that we we made sure we we found out about Max and the reports that come back on Max were were excellent, um, as well as how powerful he is, how quick he can be, um, how strong he is. Um, these are things that we obviously know he's got, but it's just about us making sure that we get him as fit uh, as fit as possible. It takes a bit of time, of course, but um, 
he's, he's certainly ready to help us in the short term as well um, which is great You mentioned Jack Goodman and Tavonga Kalea both of them joining Matlock Town for the remainder of the season you spoke before about giving them an opportunity to go out and, and play games and, and having a, a bit of a more lengthy period than just month by month so this seems like a, a good move all round for both Yeah it's been it's been a little bit frustrating for some of the younger players like Jack De Grucci and, and Tavonga Kalea they've had quite a few loans now and they don't seem to really get a run in the, in the team and that's something we need to do we need to sit down in the summer and make sure that we get better for next season um, particularly the younger players that we send out in loan that the planning's better you know we're not just willy nilly sending the place and we don't do that anyway but it just seems like every club that they've gone to um, they play the first the second game and then they don't get a sustained run and they end back with us for, back with us after the month so um, Jack obviously different Jack hasn't had um too much loan experience this season apart from really early on when we had to call him back quickly from, from Gainsborough um, and obviously disappointed obviously the Linfield thing couldn't go through um, at the time but this would be a good opportunity for Jack um, to get out and play some football you know it's 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 a good for, for us you know they, they lost Johnny Margetts who was our physio we lost him as, as the physio so I think they have missed Margetts' goals at, 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 at Matlock so I'm sure Jack and, and Talv can go and contribute to that and help them uh, for the remainder of the season